Hey you guys, this post about fear and overcoming struggles is really near and dear to my heart and that's why I posted it because uh, you know if you have fear in your life of any kind it's gonna affect everything you do okay so since I don't have much time to reply to everybody's posts because you know they're all uh, very amazing for me to see the connection that I've had and you know I want to respond to everything but it's really hard so I'm just gonna pick a couple of the last ones that are currently on here and that is from Kate Bittner that she mentioned failure and procrastination I've totally had you know those fears too about you know what if I do this big new en endeavor and can't make it or you know sometimes it's easy to work on it and sometimes it's not and I'm not really making any progress okay so what I want to cover on that is one of the first things on my list here which is your habits change you and so the the way that I'm gonna explain that is for 15 years I was an active duty Marine in the United States Marine Corps some of you may be not familiar with uh, the United States mil military and the branches but the Marines are you know some of the roughest and toughest you know we got we have the longest boot camp and then we have combat training and then when you go to your school for whatever your job is it's usually long and hard too you know there's just training 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 so you know if you've seen uh, a military like graduation the the cadets the soldiers the marines whatever branch it is you probably notice that they're very like you know at attention and if they have to salute you know everything's really strict and even after the graduation they're still walking around you know like they're marching or something have you ever wondered why that is because they're free at that point right they graduate they're done it's because they've just spent two or three months of instilling habit 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 from their drill instructors and or they've you know they were forced to but after a while you know they got used to it it just became a habit and it was so instilled that when the graduation was over you're still walking and talking like that whatever you know very um, clear to the point you know not wasting around any time or anything like that so as far as procrastination goes this is where I talk about the five minutes a day strategy that I've been using on myself and that anybody can use this and that is whatever skill or study time whatever you want to do you can go in with the mindset if you're a procrastinator like I am to just get started just do five minutes and it's like a brain hack oh I can do that you know five minutes and then that turns into 30 or 60 or whatever you get lost in it you get inspired by the start over challenge community and whatever and you know wheels wheels up you're taking off and it's awesome so that's my tip on procrastination or anyone who has a hard time doing it every single day you know that's how I started but you know frankly with this start over challenge I'm not sleeping I don't know about you guys but I'm just so in tuned and interested in what everybody else is going through and wanting to help too that it's just I'm just going with the flow and I'm tired but going there's only a few days left right so this is time to milk this for all it's worth in my opinion and then okay one more so uh, then I have princess Leah Carlos who said homelessness was is her biggest fear and wow you know I've had an experience with that too I've lived in my car for a while because that was the only way to keep my fan finances in order so I could keep my music business going my customers knew nothing about it you know and I don't get too emotional about it now but I still as I say it it's like you know wow I really made the sacrifice so I understand I've been there uh, I didn't know if it was going to get worse you know fortunately I was able to keep pushing and get you know have enough clients that I wasn't homeless anymore I was able to improve my quality of life but what I want to say about that is and the KBB course because that's what this is you know everything I've put together the last couple months uh, it wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for KBB yes I've had a lot of skills musically and as a marine over the years so I'm ready to go I'm like yeah thank you guys I got this you know Tony and Dean it makes sense I get it 
And so I've been working like crazy to do this, like 100 hours a week, you know, I just keep on going. And um, so you can do this too. I promise you, you can do it. You can implement it into what your passion is, what you want to do. But you got to start with, you know, daily habits. And you have to just, whatever it is, if it's exercise or gratitude, I'm going to add a picture in this post too of my board so you can see it clearly. But you just have to do a little bit every day until you start building momentum, whether it's diet, sleep, exercise, studying, you know, watching YouTube videos. YouTube is great. Please, everyone use YouTube as a resource because it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You may have to endure some commercials if you're not paying for the membership but it's still worth it. It's free information from people like us who, you know, I'm a YouTube video creator too. And, you know, I'm putting valuable information out there about the piano, guitar, drums for free. I mean, it's the same information a lot of times that um, I'm charging $60 an hour for. And I'm planning to raise my prices thanks to this whole program and, you know, realizing that if I have a clearly defined niche, as defined as possible, I can actually charge a lot, inf or charge a lot for that information and because it is valuable. Um, and we're just not used to th thinking that we can compare to a big company, you know, like, I don't know, Tesla or something. I'm just picking a big one. But um, I hope that makes sense to you guys, that the clearer your niche gets, and the more clarity you have on what you want to do. And that's a question that somebody asked me recently. And I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but they just asked me, what do you want to accomplish in your life? If you had all the money, all the resources, everything you ever could dream of, what do you want to do? And I went blank. And I had no idea, honestly. And I said, help people. And he said, help people do what? And again, I went blank. And what I finally realized without going into any longer story, because I want to wrap this up for you, is that I love helping people become better than they've ever been. I like seeing that breakthrough, whether it's personal development or music or whatever. So being a part of this community and helping you guys, just, it's amazing. So thank you guys very much. And this is my reply to the comments. Um, so I, I guess this is allowed. I, I'm trying not to post too many videos on the main page because, you know, everybody over there is probably losing their minds on thousands of videos right now. So talk to you guys soon.